Yeah, man. Uh, we back again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Bless God. Fundi swam. Nda bezit. Melchizede. Sibuil. Universal truth. A universal story that is told in different versions. Well, not versions. In different levels of interpretation. Levels of interpretation. The Bible is not the only book that speaks about this. There is uh, the Odyssey that mm. was written by Homer in the Iliad. The Iliad. And uh, there is the Bhagavad Gita. We, we, we've mentioned a whole lot of other books, you know, where the same principles of truth can be found, you know. So the Bible is not a special book. It is one of the books that speak about a universal truth. And I'd like us to go, first of all, before we can understand this, History happens in epochs, you know, mm-hmm. in, 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 in periods. Yes. And if we study religion and we study history, you'll find that, that there's different periods in this history. The first history, if we can summarize it and make it simple for just one community to understand, mm-hmm. the first part of history, religion is found, it is a, a system of discovery. Who are we? Where do we come from? Why are we here? What are we here to do? Where are we going? It's called the five golden questions or more commonly known as the three questions, you know? But it's basically the the, the, the five major questions. Who are we? Who am I? Where do I come from? Why am I here? What am I here to do? And where am I going after this? It's discovery. And all these religions, you'll find that they came up with the theories of how the world came into being, Mm -hmm. how creation started, how this and this happened. And your Genesis in the Bible, you have your Egyptian tale of uh, Upta, how he created, standing on the Tatanen, and he spoke, and Atum, how he masturbated and everything into existence. In all these mythologies, you know, there's that point of origins Mm -hmm. where it deals with discovery, questioning, who are we? we? Where do we come from? You know? And then the next period of religion, once we've discovered and think we've discovered and think we will, now we know and think now we have our answers, you know? The next stage of religion is Now that we know who is in power, (laughs) (laughs) who knows more? Because the state is built on knowledge. Exactly. And once we have found who we are, what we are here for, and what we are here to do, and where we are going, we then start to have concepts like states. But okay, but with Sisne, Sisnum Teto, into a cool mega, you in every single household, this one thing is spoken, mm-hmm. right? It's tete. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. right? After we have figured out those five questions, mm-hmm. uh, hence, um, immediately after that, we then go into a power struggle. It's a power struggle. Mm. Who is in control? Who's, who's in control? Who knows more? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we understand. <laughs> and you can look at the evolution of religion. Now priesthoods start to come out. There's high priesthoods, there's low priesthoods, there's initiatic levels, there's hierarchies now. And then once these hierarchies are established, the next phase of religion kicks in. Rebellion against the power. Mm -hmm. Because now the power is oppressing us. And it's using the same thing. And it's using the same thing (laughs) to oppress us. But suddenly it becomes a burden to us and not to you. Now, the third phase of religion comes out. The rebellion. People start to rebel against the status quo. People start to rebel against the major religions. 
people start to rebel against the norm. They start to question. Mm. And in that questioning, they come up with relevant points. Mm. And then within those relevant points, some of them start to question just for the sake of questioning, questioning because it's time to question mm. with no real aim. They're questioning, questioning, questioning. They're questioning, 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 questioning. All right. Eventually, when the questions are all answered, a new face of religion comes up. Mm. Or should come up. Or should come up. The new age mm. religion. Mm. But in this new age religion, we are not responsible for anything <laughs> that happens. <laughs> It's all these other previous ones who fucked up. It's all these other ones <laughs> who messed up mm-hmm. and made the wrong decisions. Now we are stuck. <laughs> Excuse my French. <laughs> now we are stuck. It's a love language. It's a love language. It's the most beautiful language in the world. It's passionate. It's passionate. <laughs> it's the language of romance. <laughs> you know, boulevard of concert. Bonjour, mademoiselle. So now, <clears throat> this religion now is the worst type of religion mm-hmm. because it goes against everything that was there before it. It's a rebellion. It's, oh, a re- it's, it's, it's not it's, even a rebellion. It's post-rebellion. It's, it's post-rebellion. Yeah, it's a state of dystopia. It's a state of dystopia. Yeah. It's a state of confusion. Yeah. After, after the war, there's broken buildings and exactly. dust and everything. And song says, this Bambi, And then you get these movements that mushroom. Yes. Kemetology, this. Mm-hmm. Spirituality, that. Bungoma, this. Mm-hmm. African, this. Rastafari. Rastafari this. Baha'i this. <coughs> and if you look at history, all these religions, your Rastafari, your Baha'i, mm-hmm. your New Age movements, no. your... These your are post Haley's Comet. Your post... Exactly. Post Haley's Comet. Your post Haley's Comet religions. Yes. These religions are just there. <laughs> and their do- doctrines are just somewhere. For instance, right? You know when something stems from, for, for instance, I would say the Rastafari community, closely acquainted with them. Um, when something stems from a revolution, post-revolution, it becomes redundant, mm. right? And once there is no more war, once there is no more nothing to rebel against, we will, we will rebel against each, each other. other. Yeah, but, and out of that rebelling against each other, there's nothing that we are going to build. We're going to rebel against ourselves. You see, even with all these good precepts that we have stuck in the language, stuck mm. in the mm. in the existence of mm. I and I, you know, our one love, one communal thing, existence, one you know, human. it's in the language. But because it is now... The reality is detached. It's, it's detached from its own reality, right? Mm-hmm. It is us now, the, those who profess it, who are supposed to transform. Yeah, well, uh, because if, if something is put there, you shall enjoy When I'm going to, my favorite work community is supposed to do something. And mm-hmm. the only thing that's constant is change. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, if... If it sits well, then it means that, oh, okay, you were fine where you were. Mm. But if it finds something that was unsettled, inevitably it's going to give a different mm. outcome. Mm. Yeah. And that's what this universal truth is. It's in every single society. from the 12 skulls, uh, on the necklace of Kali. Of Kali. Mm. And what Kali had to do was to now top off the heads of all now the same kings which came to Melchizedek <laughs> to offer him what you offer me. You're offering me frivolity. Mm. You're offering me vanity. Vanity. Umshaba. Minangize. Nezu. When 
you are offering me in sharp. Yes. And what you must do now with these 12 experiences that you go through as an individual, right? Your fear, your weakness, your ignorance, your rashness, yeah, well, you must chop off their heads and wear them, decorate yourself, you know. And say, I've conquered. I've conquered. Mm. See, I'm decorated. <laughs> I, I've conquered. Yeah. <laughs> I've conquered, right? When you conquer, you get decorated with what you have conquered. Mm. Your spoils of war become... Your spoils of war. Because you go into a place, you find gold there, and once you conquer that place, you take that gold. Mm -hmm. Create a crown with that gold, mm -hmm. right? That gold becomes a strength, but also it becomes a remembrance of what it is that you went through mm. for you to become so glorified. Remember that glory is not our own, it is the Almighty's. Mm. Yeah, well, mm. What do we remember then? That inside of me is the Almighty, because I worked hard for that glory, mm. right? He learned to be sebenza, talk sebenza, kurunkuru. Yeah, well, our highest precepts, your highest thoughts for yourself. Your highest ideals. Highest ideals. Your highest idea of yourself. You understand. And that is what all these religions uh, are, are professing. You know, now Kali Kali is seen as a, some will say is a dark mm. god. God of death and but darkness. And... Your triumphs, mm -hmm. right? But on the obvious, Konu U Vishnu. U Vishnu, no. There's Umabele Mate. Okay. You know, Yonki into Igu, Yongova Manji, Agasana, your link in Elamakosi, Lao 12. Mm. You understand? Mm. Once we, and Abba teaches, Bakalipin Zubisa Gu, Abba. Uh, Abba teaches us about the 12 tormentors and we in turn teach that to the people, right? The 12 tormentors are the tough experiences that all men go through. Uh, that is why you as an individual cannot think that your experiences are, are your own. You cannot think that your pain is more than another's. You cannot think that your joy, your joy is you are worth joy more than another person. Mm -hmm. Obvious, right? All of these are the base of suffering. Right? Because once we do not have knowledge, we will be angry without reason. <laughs> we will speak out of turn. We will do things without thinking. We will even do things in a rush. Mm -hmm. And these are the things that bother us as individuals. And these are part of our 12 experiences. Right? Aibu is a futu aba ati. These same 12 experiences are the 12 zodiac, right? So a Scorpio, I'm, like myself, I'm a Scorpio. A Scorpio will have the traits of a Leo, will have the traits of a, of a Libra, because we go through these cycles all the time. We experience these things all the time. If we look at it uh, uh, cosmically, the moon passes through different constellations. The sun passes through. We might not see the stars while the sun is out there, but the sun passes through different constellations all the time, mm -hmm. right? It's your rising and your setting and all these things, right? My, my rising is a Pisces. So when, when people first meet me, they will have the impression of a Pisces, mm -hmm. right? It is not because of uh, in Zaloya. It's because of how I experience my experiential engagement in mm -hmm. Because all these 12 experiences I, are, experience, you as men. are experienced by all. Experienced mm. by men. Mm. Yeah. Everything that is in the world. Oh, Christ who in the Bible. His disciples ask him one time, uh, what will happen when the hour of darkness comes? Mm -hmm. And then his response is, <laughs> when the son of man is standing amongst 12 hours, <laughs> he's never within darkness. Mm -hmm. Meaning that when my experiences are all enlightened, mm -hmm. when my joy is no longer just, okay, 
we, we had a conversation about this recently. L last night, actually. About reality. Oh, okay. You know? Oguti, there are three types of reality. Mm -hmm. Two days ago. And none of these three realities are, are actually real. reality. <laughs> the first reality is corrupted reality. Mm -hmm. Now, corrupted reality is whatever you think you've been through. <laughs> your past. Mm -hmm. Now, your past includes your traumas, your pains, your joys, your successes, your failures. Mm -hmm. All of that is corrupted because it's gone. It can never be brought back. Can't cry over spilled milk. You can't cry over spilled can't milk. Put it back into the. Are uh, you was Hence that you familiar. Exactly. Mm. Corrupted, corrupted reality. Reality. And then you have <clears throat> experiential reality, which is fleeting. Mm. Right now, me and you are sitting on this couch. Mm. Oh well, we're sitting on our respective thrones. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as we're done with this interview, we won't be sitting on these chairs. We'd be sitting in a car, mm. traveling. Mm. And that won't last for long. Mm. We'd be somewhere else doing something, something else. else. So now, experiential reality is fleeting. Mm. It's momentary. Mm. You can't trust it. It's like the present. It's, 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 the, it's, the present it's, is always present. Constantly changing. Exactly. It's constantly changing, you know? And then the third type of reality is projected reality. What I hope will be, what I think will be, mm. and that really also is not based on any reality. Mm. So all these three realities that we exist, we live by mm -hmm. are not really reality. Mm -hmm. And then you ask yourself, why in every spiritual tradition, I don't want to say religion, because before there was a religion, there was a spiritual tradition. Mm -hmm. And if you remember when we, we laid out the, the periods, the epochs of, yes, religion, of religion, at some point it was a spiritual yes. tradition. Yes. And then it became a religion. Now, we are not there. Let's go back to the essence the of things. Essence. When it was a spiritual tradition, is Krishna, Brahma, and Vishnu. Mm -hmm. A trinity of gods. Mm -hmm. There is Osiris, Isis, and Osiris. Horus. Mm -hmm. hey, hey. A trinity of gods. Sure. There is Father, Son, Holy Spirit. There is Kakaulkan, Quality, and Amada. And uh, it's, it's, it's Titi Khan, the, the three deities of the Aztecs in South America, supreme deities. There is Rama Sedi, Kasisotu. There is Amata, Gestosa. Now, there's um velingangi unom kubuluana unom hoi no chobel ngesizu now all these everywhere you go everywhere you go the Buddha the Buddha is depicted as a triune form mm. because the Buddha is the highest and then there's the two other now my question here is. There are three realities mm -hmm. <laughs> that man lives by. Mm -hmm. There's a deity, a God, mm -hmm. an object of focus, by the way. Mm -hmm. God is the object of the your focus. focus. Mm -hmm. That is triune. Mm -hmm. Let's take Christianity. There is the Father, mm -hmm. which is the corrupted reality. Mm -hmm. It's past. Yeah. Whatever he did, he can't do anymore. He's already done. Mm -hmm. He cannot create a better apple tree, and apple tree is an apple tree. He can only take out another apple. He can, the apple tree can only perpetuate itself. Mm -hmm. Honestly speaking, it's useless to pray to God. Mm -hmm. God can't do anything more in this world because he's done with his job. Mm -hmm. And this is going to be a very unpopular opinion. That God... Born on the first day, 
created this, created that, created this, created that, and then he died on the sixth day. Exactly. On the seventh day, he was resting. Yeah, he was. And in then the on grave. the, and after, after the seventh day, everyone either heard heard him by ear, or, or dreamt, dreamt about, about him. him. Because God never existed. <laughs> No, 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 but the Bible says so. That's what the Bible talks about. Ezekiel, oh, but 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 I'm in the end. Each ela kona na na lmanje uchani minga na lu u u u shes pes gualo. Exactly. And man, thing is, after God died, oh, God rested. <laughs> rested forever. After Shabbat, yeah. which is death. Yeah. <laughs> after Shabbat. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody dreamt about God, had a vision about God, or, or was told God. about God. Mm. Nobody saw God ever again. Nobody saw God ever again. No. Here's my question. Father God, mm -hmm. corrupted reality. Mm -hmm. The Son of God, experiential reality. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit, projected reality. Mm -hmm. Is not God the object of our focus? God is the object of our focus. Because we have problems with all three of these realities because of what we focus on. Okay. Right? And our corrupted reality is our traumas, is what we went through. Okay. You know, all the things that we thought we could and even those do, things that made us happy. Even even the things that made us happy, mm. because suffering is both <laughs> love and and the obvious of love, mm. whatever the obvious of love is, right? In the projected, I mean, in the perceived, mm. in the perceived reality, um, first it comes from what have you went through? What has built your perception? What spectacles have you? have you been wearing? And those spectacles, you can only wear them because of what you have seen. So, if I'm a you need to get spectacles according to right? So that you can find your supposed balance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah well. It's self-illusion. Yeah, and that's the experiential one. Yeah, and then we come in to the perceived now, that's all you're going to see. Yeah, well, that's all you're going to see. And that's, that's what the Holy Spirit is. It's what is flowing through everything, right? So if your focus was corrupted, Ish. right? And then you your live that, corrupt, you live that corruption. Therefore, you're... everything is going to be corrupted. This is why the Bible says there are three witnesses in heaven. And they all witness the same thing. Mm. If your focus is wrong, your experience is going to be wrong. Therefore, your recollection of the experience, it's your is, perception is going to be wrong. Is going to be wrong. Right. And what now the teachings hey, of fundis, Christ, fundis, 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 what the now teachings the teachings of Christ, of Christ now is to now raise us because we are stuck in this third dimension in this body, right? Mm -hmm. This third dimension with the three realities. Listen to that. Third dimension, <laughs> three realities, right? <laughs> The, the Christ is a fourth dimension realm, mm. right? Manji, this reality, you have now transcended the suffering of mm. the three-dimensional reality. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Into an enlightenment. But now, what must happen there? We must now first fix this body. So I must see, in, 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 in. because now, there are keys and doors in every single part of this body. Now mm -hmm. we're going to get to that seven, right? There's, now we're getting to the seven. You understand? Mm -hmm. So that for us to escape the three and get to the four, we need to now open all of this the seven. seven, right? This seven now is your crown chakra, your third eye, your, your throat chakra, mm -hmm. your heart chakra, your solar plexus, your navel, and your sacral and your seat. You understand? And now... This is now the base of all 12 of these experiences that we spoke about. Because these 12 experiences are biologically, by the way, you understand? the 12 lymphatic glands 
in the body. And they're all tied with your hypothalamus, <laughs> your pineal, your thyroid, your, your cardiac, your, your gonads, your adrenaline. Your testes or your ovaries. Your ah. You understand? And we have problems with all of these. And we have problems with all yeah. these 12 glands. Sickness you comes know, from those yeah. 12 glands. You know, you know, you know, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Because your focus is wrong, your experience is wrong, therefore your projection is wrong. If the three is wrong, therefore the seven will be corrupted. And if the seven is corrupted, the twelve is going to eat you up. You're so, not going to chop those heads. This whole book is a book of human development, not a book of of religion no, it's and in color. It's talking about one person. <laughs> you, the person, right? When you talk about the those 144 <laughs> who <laughs> shall... <laughs> those 144 <laughs> who shall <laughs> be saved... <laughs> the 144 who shall be saved are you, man. Who <laughs> made One, two. One, two, three, four. One, two, two three, three, four. One. One. One, four, same Islam, four. same Islam, head, arm, arm, leg, arm, leg. Uh -huh. Okay. Even the word Yahweh in and the Allah. Hebrew, Yod, He, Va, <laughs> He, if you write it <laughs> in a line, <laughs> is a one, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Yeah. It's a one, forty-four. Exactly. It's the Temple human. of Solomon. It's the Temple of Solomon. This is why the Temple of Solomon, according to the Bible, was built according to the measurement of man. Yeah. Mfundis, this book was not meant to be a religious book. No. This book was a book about human development. Mm -hmm. Why do you burn it in a fire? I don't know. Who's it telling you, Satan? Lo umshisela ndo satani lo. Agu we na satani lo shisela ndo le egmeli ivu sabantu. Is it because you did not understand I, what it is? You did not understand this thing. Because... Is it because you are not initiated into because, its mysteries? It's because you are not initiated in, into its mysteries. Because those who are initiated in its mysteries keep quiet when others talk the things that you are talking. Ish. We just keep quiet. Yes, we know that people oppressed people with this book. You are stupid to not know that people did not oppress people with this book. And it's not the book that oppressed people. It's, it's people, people who, who oppress, oppress people. people. Just like the same thing that you were saying. Who is now in power? That is that second epoch of, re of religion. If people do not understand those things, they're going to now detach themselves from a truth that is meant for them. Right? South Africa is predominantly Christian. Because our colonizers were, were English and Dutch, mm. right? Mm. This book does not work in Arabia. It doesn't. Because they it doesn't even work Quran. in Israel. They don't even want this book in they Israel. They don't want this book Jesus in Israel. Jesus is banned exactly. in Israel. I don't know if people know that. All right. Our brother is banned, Google. <laughs> For Umsan and Oweto All right. For Ubuntu Beit. Ubuntu Beit. For the universality of the truth. Love your neighbor exactly. as yourself. Do unto others as you want others to do unto, unto you. you. Love... Respect your parents so that your days may be long. Selfishness. No, 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 because it happens. Yes, no, 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 who tricked Jacob into paying 14 years of Ilobola. You understand? But Ilobola nonetheless. Mm. It's in the Bible. Mm. So, because you lack an understanding of the initiatic level of knowledge that is written there, mm. your choice is to burn it. Mm. And this, it wasn't even stolen. There's also now this school There's this that narrative says, you're with this the school, Bible was stolen, stolen no, from no, no. Africa. Uh -uh. They came to us, we taught them Baibamba Tinasailasha. Baibamba 
Sina Saila. Sibafundise ini isindu. We taught the Greeks true isindu. We taught the British true. Yes. We taught we taught them all. Yeah. The Druids and all the and all Druids, of them. the Celts, yeah. the, the, the Hindus. Yeah, your, the, the, the your wise men from the East. They, you, they taught they learned from us. Yeah. There was a study, a lost. genetic study, Yoguti. 20% of authentic Chinese blood mm. is African. Mm. We taught these people yeah. it down. They didn't steal it. They didn't it's steal it. It's not stolen from here. No, no, it's no. Not it was never, book. it's not even our book. <laughs> the Egyptian book of the dead is not our it's sacred not, strip. No, 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 no. It's an obituary that was written in one person's grave. And there's the, the book of the dead of Pepe. There's the book of the dead of Unas. There's the book of this. There's the Egyptian book of the dead, the Benlet. Uh, the, there's the Tibetan there's book the of the dead. There's the Ethiopian book of the dead. dead. Yeah. There's the Tibetan book of the dead. So the book of the dead is the book of the dead. It's not a scripture. Mm. It's an obituary. Mm. Right now we are talking about the universality of one mm. that became three, mm -hmm. that developed into seven, that ended up as 12. 12. And now we are stuck with the 12 experiences of that same one God. Mm -hmm. Because we were not able to become one, so we became two. Yeah, and well in left. becoming two, we did not agree. Therefore, we needed a third. But this third brought a fourth oh. element. Emeganji, God. Emeganji. <laughs> and because of this fourth element, we started having an argument. So if now you calculate <laughs> one plus two is three, three. plus three is six, <laughs> plus four is... Ten. Now we have the Ten Commandments, <laughs> the laws of man. Man, know thyself, <laughs> and you shall know the universe and all its gods. Told you. Do not Told. kill, do not steal, do not commit adultery. Mm. It's this one that became two and didn't agree until a third was involved, which came with a fourth opinion. <laughs> one plus two is three, yeah. plus three, three is six, crowd. plus four six is ten. So one is a me alone. Mm. Two is a couple. Mm. Three is a crowd. <laughs> four is a mess. Yeah. Because so five bad. leads to chaos. No. This is numerology. Mm. This is universal knowledge. This has nothing to do with us being black, them being white, them being Chinese, them being Indian. Mm -hmm. We are all speaking the same thing. Oh, Homer. Oh, Plutonic solids. Oh, Plato. Yeah. Uh -huh. There was the point <laughs> mm -hmm. which became the line mm -hmm. that resulted in the triangle. In the triangle that developed into the square, that ended up as the pentacle. Now, once you get to the hexagrams and the septagrams oh, and the octa, oh, Pythagoras, man. Mm, yes, I mean, I and the octagons. And, 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 and. Now, we are talking geometry. Mm. Are you saying, Fundisi, to me, that the, the decahydron or the tetrahydron mm -hmm. is the same? Same development of man. 12-pointed star in a three-dimensional form on a four-dimensional <laughs> vibration expressing itself on seven rays in a nine-dimensional reality. Are you saying geometry, religion, faith, science are all speaking the same thing? It's all one thing. One thing. And the, um, there's a book called... This book. I, I shouldn't have said this book. <laughs> but in this book... Uh, these ones who call themselves the three initiates, mm. right? They speak about this one thing that flows through all things and everyone sees. No, speak about that. We've spoken about that before. Yeah, it's, it's, called, it's called the Bacabalion, Bacabalion. Yeah. right? And the very, three initiates. Yeah, my mother the seven principles. Yeah, my, seven mother reads that. Principles. my mother is a priest and a sangoma. She reads that book, right? Mm. And I share a lot with my mother. And Yazi, once you are able to explain to someone, hey, man, look, you see this thing that you feel inside of yourself and you see you. This thing is so special. And you look at God and like, wow, God is so special. That's you. <laughs> it's, it's me, it's God, it's you. But now, did you see what you just did? <laughs> it's me. Yeah, it's God. No. It's, God. <laughs> it's me, it's God, it's you. Hey, 
triangle of Pythagoras, yeah, bon. the right angle triangle. You understand what I mean? What happens between me and you on this level, level. happens between me and God, God on, on this that level. level. <laughs> but it's what happens between God and you on that level. It's the theorem of Pythagoras. Exactly. A, A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. Yeah. So I and I <laughs> is I and I. Is I and I. Amara yeah. The same I that is in the I yeah. is the same yeah. I that is in the I. Therefore, I and I is the same I. Yeah. Is that one love concept? It's that Christ says, by this shall all men know that you are mine, that you love one another, as I have loved you. Be one as I am one with the Father. <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying this is the basis of what it is to be umkalipi wokai? This is the basis of what it is to be umkalipi wokai. Angere ukalipi. Ushugene. Ushugene. Umkonto ukalipi le aona two points. Una single point. Tricha. Okay. E e ito tricha. Ito tricha linge. Into One a point. Into NJ part three. It's focused. Yeah, NJ. Yeah. You are not able to focus on one mm. point like this. The Chinese call it two minds. You must be of one mind. Uh -huh. Not many minds. Not be many of minds. one mind, one point. You focus. And that is what it essentially it means to boom Kalipi. Which takes us back to the focus of your attention. Exactly. And People are focusing on the wrong things right now. We hear hey, African spirituality, European spirituality, what not spirituality, and there's no such thing as African spirituality. repeat with a little more volume. African spirituality, European spirituality, Eastern spirituality. There's no such thing. Spirituality. There is no such thing as what? There's no such thing as African spirituality and European or Western spirituality and Eastern spirituality. Very thin line you're working on. It's an unpopular opinion. Okay, well, granted. But now this unpopular opinion is unpopular because there are people who think that there's such a thing as, as African, African spirituality. spirituality. And institutions based on that. On African spirituality. And the reason why I say there's no such thing as African spirituality is because we need to look at actually the word spirit. What does okay. spirit mean? And spirit is breath. Ah, Right. Breath. Breath. In the Hebrew, they call it napash. Umoya. Uh -huh. Right. Umoya. Umoya. <sighs> so, Jogo Bang says, La Sega, since, uh, you know, being as alive as, mm -hmm. as we are, we are spiritual. Once something stops breathing, it ceases. It's that spirit spiritual existence. Yeah. Yeah. So, spirituality is the breath in motion, the interaction of you and your breath coming in and out, in and out, in and out. That is spirituality, the movement of breath in and out, mm. right? The reason why now all these masters in the world, when we taught them about spirituality, we taught them how to breathe right. Do you understand? Be still and know that I'm God. Sit still, breathe, mm. meditate. You see when you breathe, you're not going to think anything that's straight. You're going to think, oh, I'm, I, I have problems with this. Because your brain needs oxygen. And that's why when... For clarity of thought. When we have anxiety attacks, we breathe. We hyperventilate. Mm. You're right? When you meditate, you take deep breaths. You're breathing right. That is spirituality. Breathing. Breathing right is spirituality. Quality. It's not an African thing. Uh, uh, it's not a Chinese thing. Uh, uh, it's not an Indian thing. Uh, uh, it's not a European thing. Uh, and as long as we keep up this narrative of African spirituality, this European spirituality, that we are missing the essence missing, of spirituality. We are missing the essence of spirituality. And that is why communities which have a lower vibration suffer from high levels of asthma. And Repeat um, that. Communities which have, have lower low vibration, vibration have high levels of, of asthma, asthma, bronchial the, ailments, yes. chest respiratory, pains, respiratory, respiratory uh, uh, problems. Yeah. You understand? And then they blame it on the asbestos. It's not, it's they not, blame it's it not on the this. They blame it on the charcoal. Um, they yeah. blame it. No, no, no. It's, no. it's, it's the low vibration okay. of the community. Of the community. Right. It's the people oh, vibrating yeah. low. About to, now, we say this. 
Wouldn't do it. Bambu Moy. Exactly. <laughs> Bambu Moy. We say Umunto Nejosi, Umunto is gifted spiritually, Uno Moya. Exactly. We say Umoya, we are Kulum, but now we. What is it? We are detached from the meanings of the words we speak? Yeah, and that is the true. Oh, that is where the truth is in the meaning of the words we speak, but we've lost it. Yeah. It's initiation. Mm. When we talk about mm. initiation, mm. people people think about this out of the world thing. And me sitting you down and telling you something that you don't know and bringing it okay. to you is initiating. I'm initiating you into You know, and we spoke about this in the yeah. last, you know, that so is being initiated into something that you were not you privy know, to before. Yeah. So Christ went to be initiated and came back and initiated his whole people. That's it. Abakali people can. Yes, sir. Nya twasa nya initiate. Nine master. Yes. Kobel. Yes. Ni zango manong. No, 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 no. The a priest who does not initiate for the priesthood. Ish. Pumelab. Inyang, in a twasang. Ish. Ish. Umtanda zeli. Oma initiate wang. Ish. Imvumo uitata. Where do you take the permission? Who invested this power unto you? Hence the term by the power invested in me. In by. By. <laughs> Right. Where is, you know, the Chinese, uh, in all these schools of the Chinese, what they do is that, Baglandela umlando wama master, the same way Slandela umlando wa koko. Yeah, man. Right. Uguti, mina umdana gaspan ban, umdana gaspan ban, umdana gaspan ban. Right. Will the Tedros, will the Tetla Malkot, will the Tetla Haimanot, will the Haile Selassie. And so forth, and so forth, and so forth, and so forth, and so forth. And so forth, and so forth. Right. Right. So what what we do is we make sure that there is assurance of classical training. Just like all these universities. That is the stamp to say this thing is classical. Because if you have a Kobela and that Kobela had a Kobela, it's possible that what you have been doing has been going on for thousands of years. True. Whether it's right or wrong. Whether it's right or wrong. Even what, what's happening now, mm. it's been going on. Mm. Mm. It's been carrying on. You know, but there should be a, a trace. There should be a, a, a mm. accountability. Mm. You know, mm. If, mm. if I go out there and start speaking what I speak, and then people ask me, hey, where do you take this thing that you're speaking? I'm going to say, I got it from Abba Aileo Amlak. Mm. Yeah, well. And then when they come to Abba Aileo Amlak, they ask him, Abba Aileo Amlak, tell you, no, me, I got it from Babun Kong. Mm. And then, I'm going to go to But I, 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 <laughs> True. You know, and like that, now mm. you, you, you even feel it when you get inside a space of initiated people and people who are not initiated. Mm. Some people who, most people who are not initiated, they speak on the surface. Yeah. Yeah. And they cannot rise above that surface. Or go below the surface. Or go below the surface. <laughs> right? It's the glass ceiling syndrome. And those who don't know won't see. Mm. The initiated see and we smile like, hey, yes, my brother. <laughs> those who know do not speak. Yeah. Those who know do not speak. Do not speak. Those who don't know speak the loudest. Yeah. You know, and you must listen. You know, the Kulman Islands is our Talangitan Kulman. 
Uzamalek, Zamalek Giza, Tetla, Tetla Malgot. Right? You always said, uh, He who knows, oh, he who does not know and keeps quiet mm-hmm. learns a lot. Mm. But he who knows and keeps quiet validates his knowledge. Mm-hmm. And yes, it might not be his own personal words, but it's an old Maxim, me, I'm a master. He, he repeats it all the time. Because yeah. he's a master. Mm. You know. Uh, so but when it's you get, a universal it, truth. It's a though. universal truth. You get into a space, you get into a room, and if you bah, 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 usa, usa figure, you just go on and speak, you're going to think you're the smartest person in that room. Because people gave you, yeah. people step back and let you talk. Yeah, well, but if you don't know, and you get into a room and you sit down and you listen to people speak, you're going to learn a lot. Mm-hmm. And then you get into a room, you're an eligible person. You have temba, you have temba. You get into a room and you keep quiet. You will validate your knowledge or the knowledge, the level of knowledge that is in the room. Mm. Right? And it's very important also for knowledgeable people not to speak above the people. Yeah. Right? Again. And sometimes it happens because mm. knowledgeable people are as soon as they get into a room, they also blah, 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 blah. Mm. Right? And yes, they are knowledgeable and it's in their nature. You know, they are, they are cast to do that. Mm. But first, you must wait. Mamela. Wait and wait to, wait mm. to receive, you know, mm. which is your teaching. You know, Mamela is to wait and receive. Mm. Right? Wait and receive. You know. Before oko, you respond. You know, oh, Koko, you always teach them, Uti, wait and listen. You know, whatever decision you need to make, mm. it's going to come to you. You know, they might, yeah, some people say it's voice from some, some people <laughs> say, oh, Koko, Baba, some people say, mm. Kudu, Kudu, some people mm. say, the but, Holy Spirit. But, but wait, wait, and wait listen. until it comes. Wait to receive. Mm. And once you receive, you'll know what to do. Without being advised, you will know, you know, which is now the realm of that fourth dimension. Uh, yeah, well, so, Suge Manje, in now your perception, ule, your, your, these your, three realities, these Three false realities. You know, your corruption, the uh, perception, and, uh-huh. and the perceive. Uh, now you're on yeah. this fourth vibration, yeah. which now will automatically lead you to a fifth, yeah. the state of confusion now. You see. Now you've got either one or two options. Yeah. When you are shocked and you are troubled. Thomas. <laughs> Thomas, <laughs> our, our brother Thomas says, seek, seek, seek until you find. Mm. And once you find, you will be disturbed. Uh-huh. And once you, you you are disturbed, you will marvel. So, seek, seek, seek until you, you find. find. Three. Yeah. Seek, seek, seek and seek, seek until, until you, you find. find. And when once you, you find, find, you will be, you will be disturbed. disturbed. And when, when you, you are disturbed, disturbed you, you will marvel, marvel and, be, ru- and rule over all. And rule over all. Yeah. Zoe Bamba. Zoe Bamba land. Right. Seek, 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 seek until you, you find. find. And when you, you find, find, you will marvel. And oh, will you will be you, troubled. You, you will be troubled. And when you are troubled, you will marvel and rule over all. It's the iron fist. It's... <laughs> Oh, yeah, he's well it's, 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 <laughs> yeah, why am I here? <laughs> Where do I come from? Nizogwenzani. <laughs> Where am I going from here? And Bing Zelin. Who am I? Where do I come from? Why am I here? What am I here to do? And where am I going? Seek, seek, seek. Seek who you are. (laughs) Seek where you come from. Seek why you are here. You will know Ugutu Zeleni. And then you will do it because he's up to step. When I ufunu kzali pola, but actually une talent lo kzali rapi. When ufunu kula pata we pin bimta namuena. You can you can write stories and dramas. So you're going to be troubled because you want to do this, but actually you are supposed to be doing that. But once you find it, but once you find that, <laughs> you will marvel and rule over all. Mfundis, what you are saying is the Bible, all religions. Spiritual traditions, not religions. Mm-hmm. Spiritual traditions. Abakali people kanya. Perpetuating the same universal knowledge. Melchizedek. Mm-hmm. We are talking the same thing. Basi mm-hmm. and let the light shine. That's mm-hmm. it. That's it. Um, 
Because this light, right, this light that you shine, you're not only shining it for what's in front of you, you're shining it for those coming behind you as well. Mm. And once mm. they get to where you put that light, they must take their own light and shine it and carry on. Not only for themselves going forward, but also for them, for those coming behind them. Mm. Mm. And I'm getting an image in Kuluma of the Olympic torch. <laughs> 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 I'm getting that imagery of the yeah. Olympic torch. All these countries competing in the Olympics have their torches lit. And then this one runner who represents Olympias, mm. he runs carrying this torch mm. as Ohambi Tola, the flames mm. from all these torches until Besu Kibela Lapa to Mount Olympus. You light them up. You light the big torch now, and which does not go out until the duration of the Olympics. I'm getting that imagery as you speak. Uguti. Exactly. You know. Gahanjwa. Exactly. And and essentially that's what it is. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. Same, this. same thing. I don't want to go deep into things like your sacred geometry and your mm. All shapes come into one center and 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 but essentially what we are saying is truth is one. Mm. There is no African better truth or European lesser truth mm. or Asian distorted truth. The no. truth is the truth. When the truth is spoken in Chinese, the Chinese hear the truth in Chinese. And even if a Chinese man would speak the truth mm. to a Zulu man, the Zulu mm. would hear the truth mm. if it's spoken in Zulu. If it's spoken in Zulu. Mfundiswam, umelchizereke mosi manguzwa gashe umkalipi. Umkalipi umkulu. Okalipi ngapezu wabu bonga. Fana nele mbele ele kabanyamale mbe mkalipi. But as much as umelchizereke umkali, umelchizereke upuda. Umelchizereke upuda. But as much as umelchizereke <laughs> upuda, umelchizereke Krishna. Mm. But as much as he's Krishna, he's Christ. Mm. Mitra. He's Mitra. Mm. He's Kakul Khan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is everyone who came to teach and express and live righteousness. Like Abba Ayaleo Amlak. Like Abba Ayaleo Amlak. Your words, not mine. I would have said like Abba Teodros. <laughs> 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 but we have that responsibility of being the saviors in our own environments, in our own families, to our own people. And if we fail on that part, we start to look for a force or a power that is above and beyond our reality. And then we get stuck in that loop of these three non-existent realities. In all cultures, in all traditions, in all spiritual traditions, please go and do your own research. Mm. You'll find number three is important. Number one is important. Seven is important. Twelve is important. Eight is important. Nine is important. In fact, if you're going to look at the <laughs> whole spiritual tradition according to numerology, the first nine digits, that's the basis that's of the religion. Basis, that's the basis of religion. That's the basis of spirituality. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One is your spirit. Two is your soul. Three is your power. Four is your mind. Five is your brain. Six is your heart, seven is your body, eight is your shadow, nine is your name. And all these nine aspects which create man are divided into threes. Mm -hmm. So this is why all the highest gods or the highest kings are, are crowned with a triple crown, a triple crown because it's the tripleness of the spirit, tripleness of the mind, and tripleness of the body. 
So you have your mind, your spirit, and your soul. That's the spirit. And there are kings in heaven and, and there are kings in heaven and earth. And this one triplicity is deal, dealt with by this one deity. Mm. And then you have your brain, your mind, and your thoughts, mm -hmm. which is another triplicity, <laughs> which is also ruled by another then. Mm. And then you have your body, mm -hmm. your name, and your shadow. Yeah. You know, <laughs> which is another triplicity. <laughs> and uh, okay. But then there's this triplicity that you need to boost this nine. This triple three of yours mm -hmm. needs another three to make it hmm, to get to the 12. To get to the 12, which is your Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. which is your Rama Sadi, which is your wow. Buddha, Krishna, and Vishnu. Mm -hmm. I mean Brahma, Krishna, and Vishnu, which is your <laughs> You know, but then once you get to this 12, you get your 12 experiences as a human being, which are the 12 glands in your body, which now bring you back to life and health. This is why the Egyptians had this, the, you know, so the Kemetians, I, Egyptians, Kemetians. Egypt is better. Egypt is better. Kemetology is, is a war against Egyptology, and they are both the same study. So it, this is why the Egyptians, Egyptians. used to say, Ank. Uja Snem. Ankh. Ankh. Mm. So you'll hear a lot of people saying the Ankh is the cross, is the, is the original Nonsense. cross, and, and the Ankh was never a cross. Mm. This is why when you see the Ankh depicted in the hieroglyphics, it's, it's, it's put to the nose. King Wangha. Ankh. Mm. Mm. You understand? It's, it's breath. Spirituality. So, yeah. spirit. Ukuja. Uja, 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 ukuja, uja. Your health, your body, your strength, your what sustains you. And seneb. So no ability. La. 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 We are happy. See, happy, 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 happy. You understand? So ang, breath, uja, sustenance. And seneb, our happiness. Ang, uja, seneb. The Egyptians always said that in their... Uh, Closing. And as we are closing, we are also going to say, Ankh Uja. Seneb. As Chablin Seneb. I hope in a very rushed and unorganized way, we did shed a light on what Melchizedek order is and the essence of what Abakali Pibok Kanya is. Yes. And Again, I'd like to remind, we'll be having our interaction uh, with anybody who is willing and active and present there. Uh, at Yabavu Street, Credo Mutawa, Kayalendaba Village, 16 June. We'll be having a day there. Uh, we'll be having our talks. Umfundis will, present, will be presenting his talk on African history. I'll be presenting African cosmology and philosophy. And then we're going to have our Q&A questions. And then you're going to have private consultations for those who want private consultations, one-on-one one -on -one sessions, uh, your what mediumship or consultation or mm -hmm. psychic mm -hmm. divination and things like that. Mm -hmm. That's also available, but we're going to have a tour of the village. Umfue to our brother, Ulebu. Ulebu Khang, Utau. Musubat. Musubat. We'll be giving a, a beautiful tour of the of the village and giving us the history of Credo Mutua and so we to that day. We'll be having Ungamane uh, Umenzi mm Masego. -hmm. Now he'll be there to give a talk on African culture. Uh, yeah, man. Uh, it's going to be a, a, a whole day of interaction. Mm -hmm. There'll be ice cream, food sold mm -hmm. there. There'll be Again, like we promised, finally our books will be available also on June 16. Like I said, it's only two books for now, the African Time Computation and Yearly Cycle, not the African Calendar. African Time Computation and Yearly Cycle. We are not competing with any other literature that's out there. And then the other one is the creation story of Abantu, of Ningizim our creation story of Amanguni as Amanguni without any tainting from 
outside influences. But that will be all there on that day. Uh, Spice Bay will be there. <laughs> Abba Ayale will be there. Abokoko will be there. You will have a time to meet and spend time with a few of my students. Mm -hmm. Uh, not all of them, they're all scattered all around mm -hmm. the country, but Labo Bazobe Corner, you'll have an interaction with my daughters and my sons. Ostela Laba, no Tembi Laba, no Neto. It's going to be a fun day. Bakona Nabu Nabang, I won't name them all, but you'll meet them all that day. Abo Kokpalisa, Abo Tuli, Abo Kuku, you'll meet all of them. Uh, let's meet June 16, Soweto, Kwakaya Lindaba, and Celebrate this Youth Day in a different way, in maybe. A different way. Yeah, let's. We are not taking away from Hector Peterson and Abu Stone Pisiping and whatever happened to June 16. And no, that is a very important part of our history. We should always remember that. But we should also take this opportunity to remember who we are as a youth, as a young people, so that we can probably propel forward. Mm -hmm with a better awareness of self, Fundis. Injad. And um, we're looking forward to, to meeting the people. There's a lot of questions that we've been asked. And yeah, sometimes because we, we work, mm. you know, there's, there's never a perfect time to answer everything concisely. Mm. Yeah, but, um, so come, we enjoy. It's, it's also a holiday, so those who have... Um, it's a holiday before a weekend. Mm. So those who have arrangements maybe from different provinces get accommodation and, you know, just come. And then, you know, that the rest of the weekend, you can spend some time in Joburg. You can spend some time with us, yeah. Because after the event, uh, Credo Motor, we're going back to our headquarters and then to have uh, an all-night... Uh, Chanting around the fire, around the fire, mm -hmm. storytelling, and the festivities go on. Mm -hmm. But we give thanks. Uh, until next time, may whichever God you pray to bless you, bless you a thousand times, and the blessings from my own personal God to all of you, uh, nameless, unknown, and unknowable. <laughs> give thanks. <laughs>